Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. So today we've got a fun combination of pocket operators. We've got the PO24 Office and the PO35 Speak. Now, I have used these together in jams before, however, I have never straight up sampled the PO24 Office into the Speak to see what happens. Now, if you're not familiar, the PO35 Speak is a vocal synthesizer. So I can simply record something like this, like this, and then like 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 this. We can play with it. Like like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this and basically apply a whole bunch of different parameters to it to really mess with that sample. However, just like all the other pocket operators, it does have a line in for putting the audio through, but like the PO33KO, this is also a line in for sampling, so we can sample whatever we'd like. In this case, we are going to sample the PO24 Office. <laughs> which is my favorite pocket operator. It's basically just a whole bunch of like 80s office equipment samples that you can mess with. So I figured we'd find out what happens when we sample the office sounds into the PO35 Speak. So I'm really excited to see how this is gonna turn out. But before we do get started, I need to shout out one of my patrons. Today's patron shout out goes to Lorenzo Tano. Lorenzo, thank you so much for supporting the channel. You also share a last name with my favorite Star Wars character, so uh, that's pretty cool. If you'd like to become a patron, just head over to patreon.com slash freebeat. Let's go ahead and get going. So right now, I'm trying to pick which sound I want to sample first. I think I want to sample this. There we go. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to hold record, slot one, and then press the sample. <laughs> Interesting. That's not at all what I was expecting that to sound like. Let's mess with it a little. So we'll press effects, record, and number six to get to the menu where we can adjust the individual sample volume. as well as the amount of noise. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and mess with the uh, form knob, knob B. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Now let's go ahead and change our playback style. Let's see what it sounds like in all eight playback styles. That's auto-tune. This is retro, noise, robot, fifth, vocoder, and synth. I honestly think I like normal the best. So now we can mess with the speed of the sample playback. It sounds like someone crying. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it doesn't stop, it just goes forever. <laughs> Alright, we're definitely gonna use that. Yep, we are definitely going to use that. Let's get a new sample. Here we go, we'll use this one. So we'll sample into slot two. All right, let's go ahead and adjust the volume. There we go. Let's actually get some noise on this one. There we go. This is gonna be a fun one to uh, parameter lock in real time. Mm. 
Yeah, that's going to be sweet. I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now, actually. So we'll go da 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 Yeah, that's sick. Let's get another sample. Let's use this. Sample into slot three. Let's slow this down, actually, as well. We can also control with knob A where the sample starts. Yeah, we'll have some fun with this. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's just use those three samples for now. I think that's plenty. I'm going to go ahead and hold pattern and use knob A to select our key. Let's pick E minor. How about that? Cool. So now we have sound one. <laughs> sound two. And sound three. Well, let's mess with the playback style here. Let's go to... Retro? Eh. There we go. We'll use number six, which is fifth. Cool. Now let's go to uh, sound 16, which is our micro drum kit. Record something like that. So, um, gotch, jung, jung. There we go. I like this snare drum, I think, because it's pretty cool and it's morphed like that. There we go. Copy this into a new slot. There we go. Got those all chained up nice. That's a pretty solid jam, I think. It's a pretty good groove. There we go. Something like that. That's pretty fun. Uh, this might be kind of an ongoing series where we, uh, from time to time, just sample really whatever sounds we're feeling from the office into the speak. Because uh, percussively, uh, clearly there's a whole lot of potential here, as evidenced, I think, by this sound right here. And there's a lot of parameters, actually, that we didn't even mess with on the speak, such as the ability to go down or up an additional two octaves, I believe from... 
uh, either these highs or lows. So uh, yeah, quite a bit of potential here. If you do own these two pocket operators, I highly recommend giving them a shot together. Maybe throw like a monotron delay in there if you've got one. Maybe that's what we'll do uh, next time we bust these two out. But I'm definitely going to make a note of how much fun this was because we are going to return to this combo. It's going to happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If not, you can hit the dislike button. That's all right too. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.